Eddie, yeah. uh, to call this a car wouldn't be right. This is more like artwork. And this is kind of more like artwork, what, yeah. What are we looking at here? Um, so we started with the 1932 Willys four-door sedan, and we had the idea that we were gonna make a miniature semi-tanker truck. And today we only have the cab with us. Uh, we didn't haul the tank with us, but uh, we went airplane themed. So we cut up the car and uh, we made a miniature, miniature semi. And so everything we wanted to do would be like if in the 30s they created a miniature hot rod semi, right. that was kind of the idea behind it. Well, it's, it's just beautiful. Thank you. So you have uh, a diesel engine in there? Yeah, it's got a four-cylinder uh, Nissan turbo diesel in it. A so, Nissan, okay. Yeah, All we right. wanted something very small. Um, the vehicle was actually built for my father, and he was a Japanese car mechanic since he left Vietnam. And so we thought it more fitting sure. could be a Japanese engine in it. And the big Cummins and everything would have stuck through the hood would have been too gnarly for it, so. Yeah, yeah. And, and that steering wheel, that's yeah. pretty interesting the there. The steering yoke out of a vintage airplane. Um, the controls are out of a vintage bomber. We welded the two center controls are welded together now and is the stick. And then the other controls, one for the grill vent and one's for the diesel power, kill switch. So. And, and the distressed leather look is just awesome. Yeah, we wanted everything to kind of look like it could be a vintage hot rod truck, you know, and so we found the old buffalo leather and we wanted the stitching to be rough and kind of like it would have been uh, an old trucker's thing. It's got the first aid kit in the center from mm -hmm. Standard. And Stan Avo is Standard Aviation Oil. So it kind of fits the car world because Standard was such a big thing in the car world, but this is their aviation line. So we figured, you know, if a guy was sitting there hauling and filling fuel, fuel for airplanes, he's got even the aviation manuals and some brochures and stuff in the center console. Cool, and I think that's probably aviation related yeah, as well. Yeah, so this is a pitot too. So on an airplane, you know, airspeed. Sure. Well, we figured what's more fitting in the truck to throw airspeed on it instead of mile, instead of an actual mile the, per So hour it gauge. works. It does work, it yeah. It works, that's fantastic. Yep. It is a tight fit in there, just like an airplane, a yeah, little airplane, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little small in there, but what old hot rod is it? So. Right. <laughs> Built our own intake turbo system for it. Just a, um, a Garrett, uh, came out of a Saab 9000. I can't remember, uh, 25 Garrett, 25 I think is what it was, was a turbo. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you follow the vintage semi world, if uh, if a semi was uh, naturally aspirated, the air cleaner was mounted inside. If it was a turbo, the air cleaner would be mounted outside. So hence the reason we mounted the air cleaner outside. Did you craft that yourself or was that off? So uh, actually that was the air cleaner off the Nissan. Okay. And so we modified it, modified our brackets and stuff, but I thought it looks kind of utilitarian. So we built everything inside. We built the air intake and, and stuff like that. So It fits the car, it looks great. Thank you very much. Yep. And then the exhaust on this side follows the theme of uh, the 30s uh, standard aviation airplane. So they had a uh, uh, bayonet exhaust is what I believe they called it. Yep. And so we duplicated the exhaust kind of to base it similar to what the, the 30s airplanes would be. Yeah, it's cool. Thank you. So. Right. <laughs> And you do pull a trailer like you yeah, say normally? Yeah, we do pull a trailer with it. So uh, we, the trailer's actually uh, an 1800s fuel, horse-drawn fuel tank that we took and flipped upside down, put a rear axle underneath it, uh, put a fifth wheel hitch on it. And so now it pulls behind. We use it for storage, but it looks like we're hauling a big fuel tank. Awesome, awesome ride. Well, it is great work. Thank it's you beautiful, very much. and thanks for bringing it it's out. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Yep. yep.